Back to educator.com's AP Music Theory course. Today's lesson is on modulation to closely related keys. So the objectives for this lesson is first we're going to learn about closely related key relationships and what those constitute. And then we're going to look at how to modulate between these closely related keys with uh, the common chord or the pivot chord technique. So closely related keys. Um, there's a few ways to think about this. Um, let's say we're starting uh, with C major as our uh, home key. So we can look at all the scale steps of C. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So the keys that are closely related to C are the basically the major chords in the key. So that gives us four and five. And those uh, keys uh, relative minors. And of course, the relative minor of C itself. So if we're thinking about what keys are closely related to C major, we find that one of them is, first of all, A minor, because it's the relative of C major. And then we have F major and its relative D minor. And then we have G major and its relative E minor. And so let's write the, let's look at the key signatures of all of these keys. So here is the key signature for C major or A minor. And then here is the key signature for F major or D minor. And finally, here is the key signature for G major or E minor. And so what we find is that from our home key of C major, the other way to think about the closely related keys are the keys that only differ in one accidental from the key signature, and they're, of course, relative majors and minors. So C major has no accidentals, so F major is close because it only adds one flat, and then G major is close because it only adds one sharp, and then, of course, the relative minors of those are all considered close. So in the end, we've got C major, and it's closely related to A minor, F major, D minor, G major, and E minor. And this will hold true for uh, any key that we choose. So let's look at uh, one more. What about, let's go down one to F major. So Write the key signature again for F major, B flat. And let's write in the scale steps. And so we're going to take, of course, the tonic and its relative minor, which is D minor. And then we're going to take the four chord. So one, two, three, four, and the five chord. So we've got. B flat major or G minor and then C uh, C major or A minor. So we can make a similar diagram for F major. So on one side we've got B flat major over here and C major over here and then the relative minors D, G, and A. And we can confirm the rule about the uh, accidentals in the key signature. 
by going up here and r r drawing them in. So F major has one flat, and then B flat major has two flats, and so does G minor. And then C major, of course, has no flats or sharps, and A minor. So this, again, adheres to this rule of uh, differing by only one accidental uh, from the home key of F major.